A chance for the second perfect season in five years. The Big East Championship and a New Year's Day Bowl awaited the Mountaineers on Thanksgiving weekend. The last hurdle to climb for the nation's third-ranked team was the high-flying Boston College Eagles. An ESPN national audience watched West Virginia stop the Vaunted Eagles' passing attack time after time in the first half. But BC took a 14-3 lead with just over 13 minutes to play. It was time for another West Virginia gut check. Did these Mountaineers still believe? Was the magic of a perfect season going to fall one game short? The final minutes will go down as some of the most exciting in Mountaineer history. Filling in for Kelchner, Darren Studstall led a nail-biting 77-yard drive. Then with the Eagles driving again, Steve Perkins forced a BC fumble recovered by Mike Logan. Studstall was 63 yards away from victory. Four plays later, the Golden Blue were 24 yards away with just over a minute to play. Mountaineer fans will never, ever forget this next play. Studstall firing for the end zone. And a catch to the end zone. Touchdown, West Virginia, as the ball is pulled in by Ed Hill. Tightly covered. Hill gave the defensive guy a little push. He pulls it in, and the Mountaineers take a 15 to 14 lead. Holy smokes. The hills of West Virginia came alive with Ed Hill's dramatic catch. When Mike Logan picked off a final Eagle desperation pass, that magic score of 17 to 14 stood, and West Virginia had its perfect season. The game also saw Robert Walker become the school's all-time single-season rushing leader as he broke a mark that stood for 24 years. The comeback brought WVU its first Big East championship and a right to play for the national title. I thought uh, Boston College just played a great football game. I really did. Uh, I think Tom and his staff were outstanding. And, you know, last year we couldn't get one break, and this year we got a lot of them. So good Lord's been with us. We'll take it. That's 11-0, that's baby. 11-0.